Good afternoon, I'm Tiro and this is a tutorial on software used in video capture. We basically need three types of things. We need our codexes, which are basically files used to code and to decode our movies. In other words, to create them and to watch them. Then we need a program that's actually going to use our video card to record these. And then we need something to process them so we can have a good quality product. Now, everything in this tutorial is free to download, free to use, and indefinitely. So, let's begin. When you, we're going to capture um, stuff off our video card and so we're going to have our device and we're going to put it to our computer and for that we want it to be as fast as possible because if we don't we get lag in our video and uh, that is what we will record so we want to have this process as fast as possible to have our proper movies and the codexes I recommend to do this are Huff, YUV and Lagrith they basically create uncompressed AVI files and then they zip them very fast. They're designed for video capturing. Another advantage to these two, in addition to speed, is that they are lossy, which means every time you encode them, they're going to keep the same quality. Um, various sites recommend or list moving JPEG as a video capture codex, and I do not recommend it because it is lossy so that every time we use it the quality gets worse and worse and worse. However with Huff YUV and Lagworth we can use this it's very fast and it keeps the um, quality as the original capturing. Now we have these two codexes and you gotta decide which one to use. Huff YUV is actually the original codex and Lagworth is an offshoot of it. Um, Lagrith is more current, it is the fastest um, lossless codex as of December 2008 and it utilizes technology for multiple CPUs and chips. Um, Huff YUV is like I said is base, is what Lagrith is based off of. It stopped production around 2001 however there are some uh, official unofficial patches at various websites and it would be it's a good alternative if you have an older computer or a single chip download them both try them out and just use the one you like okay and Huff YV and Lagrith is only for recording the information we still need to com and these are going to be rather large files but the compensation for large files is the speed so we won't get any desync to store them I recommend um, X264 and LAME MP3 uh, video and audio codecs respectively they're both free they both have high compression um, thing about X246 is it's kind of uses a little bit more time than compared to XVID but the quality is a lot better so these I leave up to you but these are the ones I use if you're just interested okay now to the recorders I recommend virtual VCR it is designed for video capture works like a VCR pause play record stop all that good stuff and it is a simple dedicated program this is all it does so you don't have these other you know editing and compressing features and such the only problem is that it's quirky um, if you don't have the settings right it will crash I take that as an advantage because you know right away if it works rather than you know waiting 20 minutes and then finding out um, in the tutorials I'll guide you through them so it's not too much of a problem um, what various video sites like about it is that it allows for proper synchronization um, what happens is that a professional capturer would you know hook up their video input to the capture card and then they hook up the audio to their sound card which is a different device the reason they do this is for a better quality however not all programs link them up properly so you get like you know a bad Japanese dub um, virtual VCR can compensate for this you may not come across this problem but it's able to resolve it uh, another nice feature is that is there's another program called virtual VCR scheduler and it uses virtual VCR to record things automatically like your VCR 
or if you don't know what a VCR is, your DVR recorder. An alternative to virtual VCR is Descaler, and this program was designed for TV viewing. It has a lot of options for deinterlacing, aspect ratio, filters, um, basically so you can hook up your computer to a projection and watch it. The um, it is a lot more robust than virtual VCR, so it won't crash. It also can handle uh, cap uh, capture cards uh, more easily, supposedly. Um, like it didn't recognize mine, but however, it still runs, so that's a good thing. Um, it also has the feature to record. The problem, though, is that there's not a lot of features in uh, control for video set settings. So, like, you can't set your resolution, you can't set your frame rate, but it still can record. So, um, depending on which ones you like, you can use either. Okay. Now that we've recorded our video, we gotta edit it so that it doesn't take up our, you know, half our hard drive, and also to get rid of, you know, unnecessary clips and commercials. Um, one I recommend is Virtual VCR. It is very powerful, a lot of nice features. It's also lightweight, so you spend time actually encoding and editing your file rather than running virtual VCR. Uh, the biggest problem is though is that it's not user friendly. Um, the main stumbling block is that it's not point and click. Once you get past that, and hopefully I can help you with um, some issues, um, you'll love it and never let go of it because it's a uh, very nice, tight, useful program. Uh, the next one is Audacity, which is basically virtual dub for sound. And it's a wave editor. And in fact, if you have used wave editors before, that's how virtual VCR, uh, not virtual VCR, that's how virtual dub works. It's not point and click, but it's um, useful. Um, mainly, it's going to be used to mix tracks, and that depends on how you record commentary or if you want to add other things. And um, it has lots and lots of filters automatically. It has about 40 of them, and you can download more. Um, but for this um, playlist, it's just going to be to remove uh, noise from your microphone. And finally, we have the K-Lite Mega Codex Pack. And this includes Media Player Classic, which is just a video, um, a, yeah, a video, uh, a video player. And I find it very useful to configure your capture card using this. And also, it's a codex pack, so you download all these video codexes and, uh, huh? Uh, yeah. Um, the codex pack has, you know, every video and audio codex you can actually, you know, shake a stick at. So it's very good to download every once in a while so you can play any um, media file off of any program, no problem. So if you download that, you can get all the codexes and you get the extras. It's all a nice little package to have. And that's it. So until next time, I'm Tiro, and have fun making videos. See ya.